We recently just passed 450 days logged in, and it's been over three months since the last time I showed my entire inventory. So for today's video, we're gonna take a look at my entire inventory, as well as the daily login rewards that I've gotten over the past couple of months. And as you can see here, we currently have 457 days logged in. So that's where we're currently at when it comes to the daily login rewards. A Couple of things I didn't do in the previous video where I showed my entire inventory, will show my resources and my storage. So first we're gonna start off with the resources and here are all of the resources that I currently have. Normally I don't have this much legendary and epic perk up. I've been saving this up over the past couple of weeks for the new rat rod weapons. And up to this point, I haven't leveled up or maxed out any of those weapons. So that's why we currently have so much perk up. As soon as we get some rat rod weapons with some good rolls, we'll most likely end up spending most, if not all of this perk up. We also got quite a bit of evolution materials as well. And normally I don't have this many evolution materials. But I think the reason we got so many now is because of that cram session event. I was able to farm a lot of evolution materials during that event. We also got a lot of candy as well as daily coins, only a little bit of gold. But we do have some mini llamas. We also got some flux, some rare perk up, uncommon perk up. We do have a lot of amp up, fire up, and frost up. And the reason we have so much is because it costs 1500 re-perk in order to change the element on your weapons. And normally I don't have a lot of re-perk, so... That's sort of why we have so much frost up, amp up, and fire up. Uh, the only reason we have reperk now is because I purchased this from the weekly store. And again, I haven't leveled up any of the rat rot weapons yet, but as soon as we level them up, we'll most likely go back to not having any reperk. We are sort of low when it comes to hero XP. Normally, I like to keep at least 400,000. That way we can max out a new hero if one becomes available. But we just spent a lot on Igor a couple of days ago, so that's why we're low on that. Uh, but we got almost 600,000 schematic XP and over three and a half million survivor XP. I was thinking once we get to like either four or five million, we'll spend it all at once and do a video on that. And I'm pretty good when it comes to manuals. The only one that I'm short on at the moment is training manuals, but that sums up all of my resources at the moment. I'll go ahead and show storage as well. We do have a bunch of weapons that people gave to us to get gameplay of, and I've been meaning to get gameplay with a lot of these weapons. I just haven't had time to. Uh, let me know in the comments below which of these weapons you would like to see gameplay of first. We also have a lot of metal because I do help people build their storm shield defenses. We also got a bunch of six star materials that people gave to us. They currently don't have a use in the game, but we went ahead and held on to them since they're rare. And we also got some five star materials and some more six star materials, more five star materials, and some bacon. And that sums up everything that's currently in our storage. I guess I'll go ahead and show my backpack as well. Normally I do not have this many weapons. The reason we have so many at the moment is because I had to craft weapons in order to get the epic and legendary version of the founder's weapons after I purchased the ultimate edition. And that's why we have so many in our inventory at the moment. Uh, but let's go ahead and show the melee weapons. Don't need to see the ammo. Here are all of my traps, and no, I do not dupe traps. I craft traps in almost every mission. If you're trying to get stacks of traps like this, the best hero to use is Striker AC. If you play with him enough, you'll have more than enough materials to craft as many traps as you want. So I craft probably like 20 to 40 traps in almost every mission, and that's why we have so many. And we'll go over all of the perks once I show my inventory. Just wanted to show what my backpack looked like. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our crafting ingredients as well. So we got some bright core, sunbeam. We have a lot of obsidian ore. That's mainly because I don't craft that many four star obsidian weapons. So that's why we currently have so much obsidian. We also got shadow shard as well as malachite. And normally I don't have this much malachite. I'm just holding on to this malachite for somebody else because they ran out of space in their inventory. I believe they're going to end up using this to trade and get some other materials though, but normally we don't have this much malachite and we also got some active power cells efficient sleek a little bit of sturdy some gizmos some carved twine and yeah this is what our crafting ingredients inventory currently looks like i guess i'll go ahead and show my collection book real quick and i'm just going to scroll over all of the options because i don't want to waste too much time on it but if you look towards the top you can see that we're currently at level 169 in our collection book and we do have some of these completely filled out. An easy way to tell if you have all of these slots filled is you'll see a little yellow check mark directly next to it. And that means that you filled all of those slots. 
So for these ceiling charts, for example, you can see the yellow check mark, and you can also see that we have all of those slots filled. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly scroll over the rest. We have all of the assault rifles. We have all of the shotguns. Let's see, we are missing one pistol at the moment, and that's the tiny instrument of death. Uh, let's see, when it comes to snipers, oh, we have all the sniper rifles as well. Uh, we are missing a couple of explosive weapons. Looks like we have all of the swords. We also have all of the axes. And I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't know we, oh, we have all of the spears as well. I didn't know we had all of these slots filled already. Uh, we also have all of the scythes, all of the clubs, uh, all of the hardware. Here are our scavenger items. I'll go ahead and scroll over those as well. We don't really have a whole lot of these event items filled, but I'll go ahead and quickly scroll over those as well. We do have all of the flintlock weapons. Here's the holiday survival. Go ahead and scroll over those. Uh, the vendor tech event, we are missing some vendor tech weapons. Uh, we also got the storm zone items, and we're missing quite a few of those as well. The spring it on event, we're missing some of those. I do have these items in my inventory, which I'll show here in a second, but we are missing some when it comes to the collection book. And we also got the blockbuster event. So that's what my entire collection book looks like at the moment. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the inventory and then we'll look at the heroes, our squads, and then our defenders. And just like last time, I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time going over the perks for each of these weapons in order to keep the video short. A couple things I should point out though is that I do not have all of the perks the way that I want them. And again, the main reason that is is because I'm always running low on reperk. Also, we have gotten gameplay with most of these weapons that are maxed out. There are a couple that I haven't gotten gameplay with like the Duelist and the Sunsetter Sniper. But with most of these, I have gotten gameplay of them. I'll try to leave a link to all of the gameplays of these weapons in the description if you wanna go check them out. But if there's any weapons here that we haven't gotten gameplay of that you would like to see gameplay of, then let us know in the comments below and we'll try to max them out and get gameplay of them. I do still have quite a bit of rat rot weapons we need to get reviews of. So once we get gameplay of those, we'll start leveling up some weapons that you all requested gameplay of. And I believe we currently have every weapon in the game, including weapons from the different editions, every weapon from every event, and every weapon that originally came with the game. There may be some weapons that you don't see in my inventory that we have in our collection book, but if there are any weapons that aren't in my collection book and aren't in my inventory, be sure to let me know in the comments below because I kind of want to try to get every weapon that's in the game and it's kind of hard to tell which weapons I have and which weapons I don't have. So if I am missing any, just let me know in the comments below. Technically, we should have more weapons fully maxed out, but I did spend a couple of weeks maxing out all of my traps, or at least the traps that I use the most. If I didn't max out those traps, we would have a lot more weapons fully maxed out. But yeah, that sums it up for all of my 106 and 130 weapons. Everything else isn't leveled up, and I'm really not gonna waste a whole lot of time on these. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll over each of them really quick and try to get through this as quickly as possible and then we'll take a look at our heroes. I actually haven't looked at anybody else's inventory, so I'm not quite sure how we compare to other people who have the same amount of days logged in. Let me know in the comments who has the best inventory in Save the World, and I'll go check them out because I'm kind of curious to see some other people's inventories. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else's inventory. But yeah, if you look towards the top, we have a total of 673 items in our inventory, so although we do have a lot of space, for more weapons and heroes. We also have a ton of heroes and weapons that we need to level up. And I feel like this is taking forever. I probably should have tried to clean up my inventory a little bit before doing this video, because I have a feeling there's a lot more weapons that I'm gonna have to scroll over. Uh, but we're coming up to the end of all of my favorite weapons. I think once we go past the favorite, I'll just go ahead and skip the rest. As a matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and scroll down just to show you what else we have because there are a lot of weapons and it would take us forever to scroll over all of these. But if you would like to see gameplay of any of these weapons as well, just let me know in the comments below. I've been saving most of these epics for transformations. I did go ahead and recycle all of my blues so we could get some weapon designs, but I did go ahead and hold on to my greens and my grays for transformations as well. And that's gonna help you get training manuals and XP and trap and weapon designs. So that's why we have so many greens and grays at the moment. 
but that sums up everything that's currently in my inventory after 450 days logged in. Next up, we're gonna take a look at our heroes. And just like with the weapons, I'm just gonna quickly scroll over them just to show you which ones that we have. Uh, we do have a lot more mythics compared to the last time I showed my inventory. And I believe we've gotten gameplay with all of those mythics, except for Master Grenadier. And we still need to get gameplay of First Shot Rio. But I'm pretty sure we've gotten gameplay with most of these heroes. Uh, we didn't get gameplay of Catstructor Penny either. And I don't think anybody actually requested gameplay of her, but uh, that was another hero we haven't gotten gameplay of, as well as Guardian Bull and Gunblazer. But for most of these, we have gotten gameplay of them, and I'll leave a link to the gameplays in the description as well. We haven't gotten gameplay of Recon Scout Eagle Eye yet, or Power Base Knox. So yeah, if there's any heroes we haven't gotten gameplay of that you would like to see, just let us know in the comments below. Uh, Striker AC is probably one of my most used heroes as of late for those who are asking and the main reason that is is because i've been trying to make some stacks of traps and resources so that's the hero i've probably been using the most over the past couple of months i think the next hero i would like to get gameplay of is power base penny because like i said we haven't gotten gameplay of power base constructors yet and we just got her a couple of days ago when we got the ultimate edition if you haven't checked that out i'll leave a link to that video in the description as well but for the rest of these heroes, we haven't leveled them up yet. And for the ones I haven't leveled up, I most likely haven't gotten gameplay with them. So if you would like to see gameplay of any of these, just let me know. But yeah, that about sums up all of the heroes that we currently have in our inventory. These last few legendary heroes are ones that I got from the Ultimate Edition. Uh, next up, I did want to show my Survivor Squads really quick. We don't have Mythic Leads for all of our squads. I believe we're still missing, let's see, we're missing two, three... We're still missing three mythic leads. And I know we do have a lot of epics in our squads at the moment, but we do have quite a bit of legendary survivors that we're not currently using. And I think the last thing we need to show are my defenders. Uh, we got Uncle, Old Girl, the Shotgunner. We got Grandpa, Val, and a couple of gunslingers that I need to level up. And that's all of the defenders that we currently have leveled up. And yeah, that sums up our current progress after 450 days logged in. But yeah, let me know what you think about our current inventory. And also let me know which heroes and weapons you would like to see gameplay of. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.